Hello and welcome to Easy Projects. So today in this video we will take a closer look at my failed laptop battery here and see if we can figure out what's wrong with it. And I guess we'll have to take it apart and see what's inside. If you saw my latest video you'll know that the battery failed in an unusual way because when I unplugged the power from the computer one day it just switched off and the battery was very very hot. But when I removed the power it just cooled down again. So I don't know if it is the cells themselves that are damaged or just the PCB inside. So now we'll just have to take it apart very carefully. No, no, not that one. It looks like it's not welded that good. So perhaps I can just go along the seam with a knife here and just cut it open again. I will try that. Else I'll have to get the Dremel out. So that was very easy to get apart. In some places it wasn't even welded. So There's not really any obvious signs of damage, so let me see if I can get it out of the plastic can. Oh, what is that? Let me try and cut this tape here so we can have a closer look. There is definitely some corrosion here, but where does it come from? Could this battery have invented some stuff? Let's try and measure the batteries and see what the voltages are. So this is 3.9 volts, that should be that should be good enough. Three point eight volts. Also three point eight. Also 3.8, 3.8, and 3.9. So I just measured them all because I didn't bother to check which are in series and which are in parallel. But it did seem like two of them were a little higher voltage than the rest of them. So maybe that pair has gone bad. But who knows? Oh look, it does even have a temperature sensor. Too bad it didn't work, but hey, at least they tried. So I think I'll just desolder all the cells so we can measure them individually because it could be that one of them is just open circuit and the voltage we measure is actually the voltage of the other battery in parallel. So far it doesn't seem that anything is wrong, but but I mean there has to be something wrong with one of the batteries at least. Because it can't just be this tiny little board here that have heated up the whole pack to 70 degrees. It would just have started burning and there's no signs of damage to the board actually, so it has to be one of the cells. So I can see now that the corrosion is not only on this single battery. There's also a bit of corrosion on some of the other batteries. So I think that it's just these uh, steel connections that have rusted and it's got onto the batteries. It could be because of the solar flux or something like that. And we can see here it is actually not that old. It is from the 45th week of 2013. I bought the battery early this year so it hasn't been more than half a year old when I got it. 
So I just set my DC load here to draw 500 milliamps. And I've connected all the batteries up and measured the voltage on the load and it seems like all the cells are fine so I wonder what could be the problem. So what I'm thinking is that the controller chip on the board here have gone bad and the computer was overcharging the battery and that is why it got hot and the reason why it switched off when I unplugged the power was because the thermal cutoff switch did actually work. When I plugged it in again afterwards to test it, it still didn't work. So something must have gone horribly wrong with this board. Hmm. At least I did get a few lithium ion cells out of it, so I guess it wasn't a complete waste. I might try and take a closer look at this board someday if I get the time to do it, but yeah. I mean, it's probably the controller that has gone bad, so yeah. But it could be interesting to, to find out. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching this video, and I will see you.